Okay, another section hike on the AT. What you see in the background, or excuse me, in the foreground is Watoga Lake. And we're here right off 19E. We're going to be doing uh, seven miles to Laurel Springs Shelter. And that's where the AT goes there. And I'm with my hiking partner, Pete. Seven miles to the shelter tonight. 18 miles to Mountaineer Shelter on Saturday. And then we're going to do nine miles out back to the Mountain Laurel, Mountain Harbor Hostel yep. on 19E. 33 miles total. Glad to have you along. See you just a bit. Okay, US 321 in the distance, Watauga Lake. PVA, PVA impoundment. That's right. And I was wrong a while ago. The sign said that we're going to be doing 35.3 miles. To 19E, not 33. It's a good day, probably uh, mid to to low 50s right now. I think it's supposed to get down in the 30s tonight, maybe a little lower in the elevation we're going to be at. But the shelter, uh, light rain. All day pretty much. It is clearing up. It's not raining right now. Tomorrow is supposed to be a very pretty day. Probably in the high 40s, maybe low 50s. Some off and on sun. But no rain until late tomorrow night. Probably starting around 6 or 7. Then I think it's supposed to rain good part of the night. And it's turning into over to snow about between 8 and 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and I think it's supposed to get less than an inch so we'll have some good weather and we'll have some not so good weather not bad for January, not bad for January. it is January 8th 2016 and this is our first section hike of the new year hope to have some more this year probably do one about every two months like we did 2015 uh, this is the first time that we've actually flip-flopped we started at US 321 and we're hiking south this time to 19E so this is the very first time we've done that just made sense because of the mountaineer shelter so much nicer and if we get increment weather like we're supposed to do on Saturday night that'll be a nice facility to be in so I'm glad you're along with Pete and I and see you soon Sometimes you just have to stop and listen.
rocks everywhere just keeps on going up and up on this ridge we've got the mountain stream on both sides and you can certainly hear it sounds really nice We got a sign. Let's see what it, see what it says. High water trail to the left. Laurel Fork shelter to the left. Laurel Falls to the right. Laurel Springs Shelter just ahead wasn't too far off the AT trail probably uh, 50 70 yards maybe not too bad It's not even open, is it? Got the cap on. Oh my gosh, blue moon. It's empty. It's empty? Yes. Oh, that's our luck. I was going to say, did you bring any orange? <laughs> Oranges? Yeah, I brought some of those uh, halos. <laughs> oh, sorry. Wow, this is a uh, better day. Yes, it has. But it's home for the evening. So I would assume the water source is that way. Yeah. I think we must have, I think we walked down from that mountain peak up there to get here. Pretty sure we did. Well, home for the evening. And Pete is filtering water. The water source was about, uh, I'd say about 45 to 50 yards off the shelter and the shelter uh, is called Laurel Fork Shelter. I've been saying Laurel Springs Shelter. When we got to the shelter it's actually Laurel Fork Shelter. And you can see the ice. Had lots of rain here lately. Plenty of water. Mm -hmm. Pete is using the starter squeeze with a little tornado connector. You buy the connector from any kind of hobby store. It's the kind that uh, teachers use to make uh, put two uh, two liter bottles together and uh, make a tornado. This makes a lot of easier. A lot, lot more simpler than it's to do. And we're just getting up. And Pete's getting up. Out of his uh, <sighs> sleeping bag. Cocoon. His cocoon. Mummy bag. Then it's a North Face. And I got up this morning and this uh, shelter slants a little bit that way. And I got up this morning and I was almost off of this thing. That's how slick this Tyvek was. Anyway, we're going to get up and uh, get moving. 
Okay, what's for breakfast? Um, I've got oatmeal, and I've got it in my homemade cozy. Some banana chips, just a few to snack on while I'm waiting for the oatmeal and the water to heat up. Uh, titanium 600 Snow Peak uh, mug, and I've got Snow Peak uh, Giga Power canister and the Light Max Snow Peak stove. Um, probably heats up water in about, I don't know, I'd probably say four, four and a half minutes. Depends on how cold it is. And what else is for breakfast? Um, just some uh, neutral grain breakfast bar, strawberry, and I've got uh, some uh, peanut butter crackers. And I always like the Via coffees, but this trip I'm actually bringing the, some hot chocolate, Swiss Miss, just to try something different. So that's what's for breakfast. Let's see, what's what Pete's got here over here? Looks like he's got a Snow Peak uh, stove as well, but he's got the MSR canister and the MSR Titan kettle. And it uh, looks like he's having oatmeal. Anything else? Bagel. A bagel. Okay. And peanut butter. And peanut butter. Well, I would say I could film this while walking, but uh, no. See you on the other side. Another beautiful bridge. My hat's off to the trail group who's done the rock work on this trail. Excellent. If you uh, get a chance to hike it, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's incredible. Nice work, guys. Nice work. Also on the bridges. Top notch.
It's breakfast time, Sunday morning. It's the 10th of January. We're at the Mountain Mountaineer, Mountaineer Shelter. Shelter, Tennessee. We have about nine miles um, to walk out this morning to 19E. So we're just getting packed up, having a little breakfast. I really don't cook a lot on Sunday morning, just um, peanut butter, crackers, neutral grain bar, some um, Swiss Miss chocolate, some banana chips. Then I'm going to finish off this morning too. And I've got a bunch of stuff I can snack on if I get hungry. Let's see what Pete's got. Velveeta. Velveeta. Tea. Tea. And a honey stinger. Sounds good. Uh, we just left the Mountaineer Shelter and come across this uh, very nice waterfall. Mountaineer Falls. Yeah, Mountaineer Falls. Snow is sticking a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see this. My phone has got a lot of condensation on it. Yeah, we're hiking in snow. Oops. Oh, oh no, I almost fell. But yeah, we're hiking in snow. And it's cold. See? I am bundled up. Supposed to get less than an inch. It's very pretty. It's really granular. It's not big flakes at all. Anyway, just want to give you an idea what we're hiking in. Uh, we should be at 19E and probably less than three miles. Okay, now we're coming to the end of the trail. 19E Mountain Harbor Bed and Breakfast Hostel. It's where we parked. And with that, 
We are done. There's Pete signing off. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.